Hello Cryosphere and uh, Happy New Year. Some of you may know me as a climate activist. I used to be a climate activist when I was a teenager and in my twenties. So this is one of the anti-motorway action pictures. And this is a picture of uh, Holland or the Netherlands and uh, part of the reason why the Arctic and the ice up there is important is it has consequences. For instance, in those countries below the sea level in continental Europe. But more about that later. So, this is a chart showing uh, the mysterious uh, J12. Uh, some of you may be able to figure out that it's not a code for something very, very exciting, but simply January 12, the latest day in this chart. Uh, we can uh, see here that you have 2017 in blue down here and you have 2013 in red up here and 2017 is the lowest ice extent ever and this is um, for uh, annual extent so it's a 365 day average for a sea ice extent. <clears throat> and uh, the reason you can only see 2017 and 2013 is that the scale only goes up to 10 million square kilometers. So all of the other years in the satellite record they are above 10 million. So this is uh, the second lowest, and 2017 is the lowest ever. And, um, well, you can see um, the uh, this part of the graph is already recorded data. We already recorded scientific data from the satellites showing the sea ice extent and you can see it going slightly down here and the projection for the near future is also down but you have a confidence interval this uh, light blue color which is uh, which basically shows the uncertainty it may go up it may go down you, know, you cannot you cannot tell the future like that so, and you also have up here, you have uh, in the second line to show you how fast we are going down here. Um, it says that the first ice free 365 days would commence in June 2034. So that's like if, if this rate of collapse, 369 kilometers per day, would be continued for every day until 2034 then you'd be totally out of ice for a whole year at that time so no one really thinks that is going to happen exactly at 1369 kilometers a day but you know just to give you an idea of how fast it's uh, collapsing basically the same plot in a negative uh, color version And then this is uh, what I call the lag cloud, uh, which is a tag cloud of uh, ice total collapse uh, estimates or estimated time of arrival when uh, the Arctic will be out of sea ice for a full year. And um, you can see different months, different years here, and 2023. It's the most frequent 
uh, ETI for the time being. And this picture will change, you know, as we as we proceed in the in the collapse. So this is my latest chart, and uh, you remember that the first plot said uh, at the current rate we will be uh, out of ice in 2034. Well, this is the the tip of this uh, red graph, basically, and uh, you know going down to 2034. That's kind of speculative because even though we are going down at this point, you can see here that we have a green trend line, which is more or less uh, linear when it comes to extent. So that means uh, even though we're going down now, we're most likely going up again, like this is a kind of wavy pattern like this. So uh, this is uh, CIS extent uh, from the MSIDC, which is different from the first chart. But in any case, uh, if you follow this uh, green trend line till down to zero, that's like uh, you're adding 200 years from now. So it's like if you believe in uh, CIS extent as the best measure for uh, figuring out the future of CIs, and you agree this is a linear kind of regression, then uh, there is 200 years uh, still to go. Of course, the picture looks a bit different if you go and look at the thickness and volume of the ice. It's more like somewhere in the, in the next couple of decades. Okay.